Welcome back to the Oddcast. I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm Ricky. And we're just two odd dudes who decided to start a podcast. You know what you sounded like? What? The guy from Thoughts Parks for and... Your Thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts for Your Thoughts. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that guy. Thoughts for Your Thoughts. <laughs> I, think, I, I don't know if that's how he sounds. That's from the show Parks and Rec. Parks and Recreation. Yeah. Is it actually, no. is it Parks and Rec or Recreation? The show is just Rec. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Or is it like one of those situations where it's like, um, uh, oh, like no man, even the intro says Parks and Rec. Oh really? Mm-hmm. All right, good. Pretty sure. That's what I always call it, but I, I you yeah. know, I've never heard anyone call it Parks and Recreation. So I'm even if it is, we're going with whatever mind, uh, psychological theory there is that we're just ignoring that part. We're just we're just dealing with Parks cool. and Rec. Probably Mandela That's, Mandela effect is yeah, what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's Nelson like, Mandela's effect. Yeah, Nelson Mandela's effect that he created on. TV shows. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, Which we're created. talking about today. Uh-huh. Yeah, TV shows. We are talking Which about. we love. Oh, well, we love. Yeah. That sounded weird in our ears. Yeah, Probably we definitely got ears, a little but... crackle going on. Hopefully you guys didn't, but if you did, congratulations on uh, being part of that with us. Yeah. yeah Thank you. We, we feel special. Yeah. Hope you do too. So what uh, What exactly are we talking about today? Because you, you planned this. Uh, we gone. are talking about. I was out of the state. Yeah, you had a crazy, you had a crazy week. But this yeah. week. We are talking about. We missed you, by the way, oh, Paul nice. and I. Yeah. I don't know if you listened. You had to. You edited I did. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We missed you. Yeah, you guys didn't even edit it. You talked about editing it at the end for like five minutes, and then you didn't even edit it. I, I thought I thought Paul was going to edit it. I asked him. He said he was going to do both, and I was like, "That's cool." And then he did, he did say he was going to edit it. Yeah, and then he didn't do it. That's fine. I had to edit it, edit it. Well, he did edit the video at the end. Did you do the? Did you do the black <laughs> cut out to black? Yes. <laughs> I haven't watched the video. I don't know, but I never watched the video. What are we talking about this week? Don't know, man. You just said, welcome back. Where's Look how talking? tan I am, guys. I wore a black shirt, so you can't tell as much. I yeah, and if, you're, if you're listening Let's with switch me your shirts. eyes. Your shirt's lighter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening with your eyes, uh, Ricky looks tan. That's, that's pretty much the explained you know, visual that you You did call need. me a Mexican as opposed to Paul not being Mexican last week. Yeah. And my wife said I came back a different ethnicity. Yeah, you did. You did kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What are we talking about? We're talking about TV shows. Okay. What's the best one? Yeah. Specifically, we're talking like comedies, but I did want to ask the people just what they thought the best show was because mm-hmm. I think that's an important question too. But most yeah, yeah. people, I think, enjoy comedies, and I could be totally wrong on the on the the marketing research there. But Of what is a comedy? Not of what is a comedy, but of is that the most popular TV show? Yeah. I think it is, but I could yeah. be wrong. I think we know which one is the most popular. Of this list? Yeah. Oh, there's one answer. Easy. Really? Yeah. Is it The Office? No. I don't know. That is not the most popular show. A lot of people like it, but by numbers. Really? Just, no, and, I don't, I don't know. shift of the entire world, there's one, and we'll get to it. All but right, you'll have to tell we me. Have, we have, we created a list of what we thought were like really great shows that were iconic and had right, good followings right. and those type of things. And then in that, we created our own top tens. Right. We're not arguing them. We're just talking about them. Of course. Because right? we love to argue. Right. But we're not doing that today. We're just we're just expressing to one another right. what we think is the best. The best. In our opinion. Yeah. But we will discuss at the end what we think is the most, not necessarily our opinion of the best, but what we think is the most popular. Because I think it's sure. pretty clear. Yeah. And I think, I have not watched The Office all the way through. I'll just admit that on the front end. Okay. I think it's a really great show. Yeah. yeah. The, the parts I've watched. It has not captured me, but I think, We'll get into more of why I think that is, and it actually came from your theory of the Parks and Rec thing and all that. Right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it takes the number one just because of the phenomenon of the world that one other particular show has that we'll get to. Which we'll get to in something other than the intro. Yeah, exactly. Let's get to the odd cast. You want to start off with the list? You want to start off with the Instas? I think we the start off with the Instagram. for The first Oddstagram yeah. question, which is, what do you think the best show is? Because the, the second one is, what do you think the most quoted show is? And there was pretty much a unanimous two answers. And um, But people had way different answers than I was expecting with just like their favorite TV show. Somebody said House. Somebody said Ted Lasso, which I've never seen. I don't know what that is. Uh, there was an Office, Friends, New Girl. Veggie, veggie tales, veggie yep. Tales, veggie yep, tales sure. came on there. Uh, <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, there was a lot of Office, uh, Grey's Anatomy. I don't know what some of these are. 
Here's what here's what I think about Office fans. Yeah. Office fans are the equivalent of vegans and CrossFitters. You always know you, when man. there is an Office fan oh, in the okay. room. Oh, that, okay. No, no, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. You know when there's a vegan in the room. They let you know. Yeah, You that's know true. when there that's is true. a CrossFitter in the room because they, they grunt. Know. And yeah. then they do a burpee, and then they say, "Oh, I do CrossFit, right?" Right. And and here's the here's the thing with um, office people, as someone that is not not d- d- doesn't dislike the let office. Let me hear. It. Yeah, let me hear. It. But hasn't watched it. Hasn't been captivated by it. Yeah. Still, like the verdict is out. If someone was, if you were like, we, "Let's watch through it together," mm-hmm. yeah, I would probably be more committed to it. Okay. And I probably enjoy it. But like watching through it, I'm like, mm. yeah. right, right. You know, people in our friend group. We won't say names. No, we know. Right? Everybody knows. I'm one of them. There are these people that watch The Office, know the other people in the room, do not watch The Office, and yet they still feel the need to quote The Office and then let you know, it was guys, it's from The Office. Have you never seen it? No, I have not. Okay? We get it. You like The Office. You're the vegan of TV show people. Sorry, that was my rant. You guys missed it last week. But. I think it's great. Like I, because as somebody who loves The Office and loves The Office quotes, mm-hmm. um, whenever somebody says one, it's like it's like a bonding moment between me because I can look oh. at them and just like, "What's up?" You know, I like, totally understand yeah. that, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, I, the d- people I get that it. Say it in the room when they know no one else in the room cares about The Office, and they're just doing it, and you're just like, it's just like the vegan people in the room. They're like, <laughs> "You eat meat?" <laughs> like, yeah, I do. So I, I wonder then if I feel like the same way that a vegan would feel if they said, oh, I'm a vegan, and then somebody else was like, I'm vegan too. They'd be like, yeah. oh, so much camaraderie. Right, that, yeah. That's what it's like for you're me like, in the office. Like, <laughs> Hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're together on this. It's what I feel And like. then you try and be superior to everyone else in the room. That's oh. the problem. That, with the with office, you already are. The camaraderie, no issue. It's when the camaraderie moves to <laughs> – we have a higher sophistication of humor than other people. No, you don't. No, we don't. You don't. Just like vegans, you're not better. But and we CrossFitters, do, we you're do definitely laugh the worst. Easier. You do. That's that's fair. Which is great. I'm I'm, I'm cool fine with that. that. I'm cool. I'd rather have a low sense of humor so that just, I could laugh more. Just here. Here's the other thing. I've actually been turned off to the office by office people. Yeah, I believe because, that. Because instead of being like, oh man, we gotta watch this together. It's like a belittling. Like, oh, <laughs> you yeah, haven't totally is, yeah. watched The Office? What kind of awful human are you? Right. Same thing as vegans, man. I'm just telling you. Sure. If more that's Office fine. people were like, yo, let's watch this together. Let, let's skip through the first yeah. season because that's what they all say. Oh, first season. Just, right? And they're like, then it gets really good. If someone had offered to sit down with me, right? Paul wasn't going to watch The Mandalorian. Yeah. And then I was but like, you were like, I want to watch like, it, bro. With you. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Yeah, we sat down and watched all of it, the first season, and then season two came out. I didn't watch it till he came over, and we watched all eight episodes in one night. That's crazy, right? You guys are ridiculous. Com- that's real camaraderie. That sure, right? totally. I, I brought him into my. Well, it was our Did world. Did you stay the was, night, Paul? No, but he was here till like three a.m. Oh my gosh, that sounds. I mean, it sounds great, but it sounds awful. It was no, it was great. That was at the point where you know we could do that still, and also the part where he what? had spy, he had, well now we're like old men and we have early jobs. That came out like a two years ago. Yeah, but we ignored that at that point. Oh, okay. we were yeah, still living yeah. like we could do it. Right, right, and also after the spider scene, he needed me to hold him. Yeah, well, that's fair. The next couple episodes, yeah. he needed a calm down moment. Yeah, so See? he had to stay there. But till three. brought him in to the show. Didn't make him feel stupid for not watching it. Right, right. Right, like, like Disney fans are good at that. Like, you've been great at that. You're like, bro, you got to watch Loki. And I haven't. Oh, so thank don't you. Say thank you. I feel so great. But you you, and, you know, the person that shall not be named in our group that watched The Office. Yo, what's up? Just so, I know you're mm, listening. Mm, you I, know appreciate, you I appreciate you. I know you're going to you. DM us. You want me to be a fan? Make me feel included. Just saying. We're going to buy you a shirt. Me and this person. Yeah, yeah. It's going to say, I haven't watched The Office. Don't talk to me. <laughs> That's what it's going to say. <laughs> All right. What else What else we got on the Oscar? Oh, I was also listening to a podcast the other day, and they talked about advertisement, like odd advertisements. And I was like, man, that sounds like something Alex would we say. Could, we could steal that. Yeah. For sure. Anyway, I just thought you yeah. I should, should know that. You know what else we could change? 
This was, I just came off the dome. Yeah. We could change the head nod into the head odd. <laughs> Why not the odd nod? That's too. That sounds too good. That sounds awesome. Yeah. No, it doesn't doesn't oh, work. Okay. Like this. This is your head nod normally. I mean, like the down one too. You could do. Yeah. This is the odd nod. <laughs> Sideways. That just looks like you got like a tick. Like you. Sure. It looks odd. I don't, I don't think yours is odd enough. I think you got to go like tilt to the side. I could yeah. do that. Yeah. We could do that. Every your time, eyes got to close too. Whenever though. we see each other in public. At least one eye has to close. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine you're like, like, you know how like guys walk past each other and are like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> imagine like walking past someone at Walmart tomorrow and you're just like, there you go. Hey, Paul, this is the thumbnail. You got to say, you what's go. up, man, right. though? What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> all right. All right. Um, we'll see if he uses it. What show is funnier? We put the office in parts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You skipped one. Oh. Oh, what do you think is the most quoted show? Oh, this you already was, said there was there was two. It was The Office and SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBob. SpongeBob I, is way, 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 way quoted. It's crazy. It's super quotable. Yeah, um, I did not think about SpongeBob, but yeah, it's it's very, very quotable. Paul said SpongeBob too. Yeah, I would say I hear more SpongeBob quotes, even with the friend group we have, than The Office quotes. Well, you might not know some of the Office quotes are kind of, are there. Though. Oh, okay, yeah. Because you guys don't make sure to make a point every time it's an office quote. Guys, it's an office quote. <laughs> that is how I know you're a vegan. It's the same logic. <laughs> oh, my God. It's an office quote, guys. Don't you get it? Yes, the rest of our friend group I besides the two of you. I do get it. This is the rest of us. Yeah, but then some like random person comes in every now and then, and they understand. Yeah. Oh, it's great. But SpongeBob, I go like this: chocolate. Yeah, everyone, everyone knows. knows. <laughs> every time chocolate comes out at all, that that SpongeBob quote comes <laughs> out. And then there's the my eyes. <laughs> <That one. laughs> oh. oh man! But I would just say this because a lot of us were raised on SpongeBob, and we had you know really stupid childhoods. Yeah, that's why we're so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, this is it's true. fine, though. Because I liked Patrick a lot more than I like SpongeBob, and he's even dumber than SpongeBob. <laughs> is this the Krusty Krab? Bad, bad role models, man. No, this is Patrick. Dude, not a bad role model. He wakes up at 3 a.m. every night to eat a Krabby Patty. <laughs> That's the kind of diet I want in my life. Man, and he is loyal to his friend. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is. Just saying. Do you remember that episode where he became really smart, but then him and... SpongeBob couldn't have as much friends anymore, so he calculated it out and decided he was going to get rid of his new brain so that he could be dumb again so that him and his friend could still be, be friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah. So sweet. That's so sweet. sweet. So sacrificial. Yeah. You know what I thought was a big miss? What? For my 25th birthday. <gasps> we could do this for you. Sure. Yeah. You know what's yeah. funny? They're 24. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Wait, what? Is 25. That, is that going to be the entire that's night? Gonna, that's <laughs> gonna, no, that's just what it's going to say on your cake. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? They're 24. 25 is going to be the year, year of funny for me. Yeah, Funnier, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 24 funny. is funny. Yeah. 25, 25 is funny. year. Yeah, okay. What show is funnier? The Office or Parks and Rec? All right, I think I get to share my share my thought here. Share your thought. I think right. it's a good thought. I love, I love The Office. It's, it's, it's like one of my favorite shows. I, I'll watch it over and over again. Love Parks and Rec as well. I think that The Office is more more consistently funny throughout an entire episode. Mm-hmm. So like more jokes and more times to laugh. But I think Parks and Rec has funnier moments. So like when you do laugh, you're laughing harder. You're yeah. just laughing less off. Higher highs. Higher highs, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Whereas, whereas The Office is very steady. Mm-hmm. And so I really pre- appreciate both of them for that because I'm like, all right, The Office is good, but I can like also throw it on the background if I need and just like kind of laugh along whenever I'm watching. But like Parks and Rec, I have to I like I choose more specific episodes because I'm like, oh, this one's so good, you know? Yeah. But everybody on here said The Office is funnier, so I don't know. Not everyone, but a majority. Yeah, the majority. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna assume that you think Parks and Rec is funnier just because you haven't watched The Office as much. Yeah, I've I've tried to watch The Office a couple of times. It just didn't captivate me, you know. Yeah. Like Parks and Rec season one is rough. Yeah. But man, once they really got kicking, oh, so good. Just 
in it's Andy. It is. And Andy, Andy and Ron. And Ron. Yeah. But like when you really get like the character development of Ron is hilarious. Oh yeah. Cuz it's like he's the same but he could he gets he's different, you know? Yeah. Um the downside and this is where I don't know on the office. The down, downside of Parks and Rec is the last season I didn't think was very funny. No. Right? So you're really working with five seasons out of seven. Right. That are just, man, they're good. Yeah. But like every every episode had a moment where I was like just dying. Yeah. The best though. The best. Chris Traeger. Oh, he's Stop great. Yeah. pooping. Yeah. <laughs> time i watched that it just caught me so <laughs> off guard i was i was caught so off guard that i just like the, <laughs> i'm trying to i just put myself in the mindset of watching that for the first time because i've heard it so many times now that it's less funny to me but His just because he's just like so intense in the mirror <laughs> yeah i i haven't i haven't thought about how anything would would be in that show if I was reacting to it for, for the first time. Oh yeah, like because that, that happened to me at one point, but it, you know it's since gone. And so now thinking of that one one more time in the context of first like, first, first watch, watch. be so out of the blue. Oh, You're just man. like not expecting it at all. He was so good. Yeah, I just, and like he's new. He's like yeah. new to the show at that point. Like he's he's kind of they're kind of developing him. And all, he's like this superhuman, and then yeah. boom, they just switch it on you, and he's stop. Yeah, <laughs> my my then, favorite my favorite scene from that entire show is when Andy and April are getting all of their doctors like <laughs> appointments done, and there's like a ginormous bill. It's like a huge bill, and he goes and he's like you have to pay this or whatever, and he's like, uh, and then he goes dine and dash, yeah. and he runs out the door and runs into an ambulance, like the side of an ambulance, and he goes and he falls on the ground. And he goes call an ambulance. I was like, but not that <laughs> ambulance. <laughs> This is a Chris Pratt character, yeah. especially teen with April, like the up and down of so that. So good. was so funny. Yeah. And that's why I just, man. And, and it's super quotable, that show. It is. As, it is. As well. So, yeah, I I understand that a lot of a lot of people like The Office. Yeah. Um, just hasn't captivated me the way that Parks and Rec did. And I think that because I watched Parks and Rec first, right. it made it hard to go back to The Office. Sure. And yeah. I feel like, what I've seen in the office, there's funny moments, but a lot of it is like Andy is a character that is built to be like adorable, dumb. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the office humor is just dumb humor. There's yeah. less of the adorableness that Andy has. That's so fair, it's less yeah. palatable at times. Yeah. Okay. We're just like, mm, this is kind of stupid. And there's, a, there's like yeah. stupid and funny, but like, Andy's character particularly makes the stupid funny work because of the adorableness. Because of the contrast, I assume, to everybody else. Yeah, it exactly. Like, he is the character that does that. Yeah. yeah. And then there's, like, Tom. Yeah. Is the annoying funny. Oh, right? Tom. And then Leslie's, like, the thinks she's the know-it-all but messes everything up funny. Right. And then no, Ron's Le- the hard. Leslie is 100% the thing that keeps that entire plot going yeah. from beginning to end. <laughs> yeah. If oh, Leslie yeah. wasn't there, there'd be no show, but she's yeah. not the funniest. No. And then there's just Ron, and whenever he giggles, I just oh my die gosh. inside. That's his real laugh. That's Nick Offerman's real laugh, yep. and I love it. Yeah. All right, let's get to these other things so we're not here forever. Uh, the last one you put up. What was the last question I put up? I forget. I don't know. You have it up. I'm looking oh, at what, I'm, what, I'm uh, what has a more hardcore fan base, which yeah, is this, Friends this was or How way I skewed. Yeah, you think this, so? This, this poll was way skewed. I, gotta, I have to read you something that somebody sent us. I, I read Did you it. read it? Yeah, I read it. Do you want me to read it out yeah, loud? Yeah, read so it out everybody? loud. Okay, so don't say who, but read it out loud. All right, we fun. had a we had somebody write in and they said hardcore fans are for How I Met Your Mother for sure. Mm-hmm. Every Gen Z child that wants to look cool says they watch this vintage show called Friends, and they are totally or they, and they totally identify with Rachel Green's style. <laughs> That's a blast. That's it was evil. such a blast. Awesome. Yeah, it was so spicy coming through. Yeah. Um, I agree with this, honestly, because, wait, 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 you agree with the answer to the poll? Like the, no, I agree with that person. With that person. Okay. I think, okay. We'll say this. I think friends. Yeah. Honestly is the best show sitcom or anything of all time. Okay. Yeah. I think the fan base in its time period was next level. 
um, we were talking briefly off air. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of telling you because we were kind of disagreeing in the intro. Like you weren't of the time period or the age at that right, time right. where you could have watched it, but your your life or whatever hadn't moved in that point, or maybe it just wasn't your family or whatever. Where the entire world, it seemed, at least everyone I knew, was captivated by Friends, Friends, hmm. especially the last few seasons. And when the se- like the series finale hit, yeah, like when it was ending, it 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 was what everyone talked about. It was it was like it's ending, right, right. right. And it ended so well, like it was That's one so of the few shows that closed the loops. Hmm. Not not perfectly, right? But as close to perfect as as a show I've ever seen. Right, right. And it just ended like I felt closure. And oh, I think that's because good, yeah. of that, people love it to this day, right? Mm. And it's very easy to watch in the background. How I Met Your Mother is a very similar style of show. And a lot of people would even say it's almost like cheating and, and ripping off friends. It's right, like right. a newer generation of friends. But the people that love How I Met Your Mother love it in a way that's different than like people that just watched Friends. Right. right. So like a lot of people watched Friends. Yeah. And they are like, oh, yeah, I love Friends. So that's why I agree with this quote. They're like, I love Friends because it's a it was a pop culture icon. Right. You you were ridiculous if you said you didn't love Friends. Like that's like a hot, hot button. Like I want to look cool. So I'm going to act like I'm contrary and don't love it. Yeah. How You Met Your Mother didn't have that appeal. And I think a lot of it was the time period it was in. We were moving out of people sitting in front of the TV and watching weekly releases. Yeah. That wasn't how it was TV was moving away from that. We were moving into streaming services. We were moving into, so it was still had that, but it wasn't to the degree that it was with friends Mm. and with Frasier and these type of things where you're like, I know that the same time each week, a new episode is being released and we all are going to sit around the TV and watch it. We were moving out of that phase. So I think that hurt or hindered how I met your mother in the sense of it didn't create that same kind of buzz that friends did. Right. Right. And especially we were moving into a new era where there was a lot more content. Netflix made it totally, yeah. easy. Um, but the people that do love how you met your mother, I think love it to a new degree because they're like, just because it wasn't as in your face as friends was yeah. to really love it and to buy the DVDs and have all the episodes and do that. Right. Like, was right. a new level of, no, I'm going to really, really love this thing. A new level of commitment. Yeah. And I, that's why I think their fan base is more intense. Yeah. See, I, I, I don't know, honestly, I, I've watched maybe a few episodes of how I met your mother. I think I probably started watching it for a little bit, but then never went through the entire, entire yeah. thing of it. So, um, I was never part of that whole, that whole, I guess, group or, or whatever, yeah. whatever you call that fan base. But, um, certainly like I've heard people quoted a ton. Hi, my mother. Yeah. 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 And like, that's one of those things I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. but, um, but growing up, like even in, in like high school or so, like I'd have people who talked about it all the time. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It sounds, sounds cool. I yeah. guess. Well, even you just look at where the money went, like friends blows most, most right. shows out of the water. Like, they the the fact that the of these six characters and by the end they're making a mill an episode, yeah, that's right? like, crazy. That's crazy money. That and that was unheard of, right? And so yeah, Joey's not doing like nothing now. He's just living. Yeah, and it, well, and like here's where you know that show is still popular and it's still easy to watch because it was something that it's just kind of it's a great in the background type show. Blah blah. blah. Right, right. But you know Netflix trying to keep it on Netflix and I think I think the number was a hundred million, right? Paul, wasn't it like a hundred million they paid the last year to keep it on Netflix? Because like always, they're still, they're still losing money off. Of it. Yeah, yeah, they paid a hundred million. Netflix paid a hundred million dollars to keep it for that last year. Wow, for That's a year, crazy. Yeah, because it's it's just it's, it's insane. Um, but I don't think, I don't think the fan base, the real fan base, right? Not the like I kind of like it fan, base. the like right. real fan base. I don't think they're as crazy as Jaime Miller. Like those people. Man, real himium people. <laughs> That's what they call it. I'm telling you. I'm in, yeah. I'm in, man. They can quote everything. Yeah, I believe that. And Friends, like, maybe there's just too many episodes. There's like 10 seasons of Friends, right? But the downside of How My Mother mm, did not end well. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. I've heard the ending is horrible. The alternate ending in the DVD set, way better. Yeah? Yeah. I, they'd probably film that for because everybody was upset yeah. at the other one. Also, the person that you quoted uh, just responded on Instagram as we're recording and said, I'm ready to throw down. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. Just so you know. They're, they're ready to throw down. So when they hear this, they, you know. Yeah they'll not fight us because we uh, well not me you agree i agree i have no idea yeah i didn't That's watch fair. really either of these that much yeah you should you should watch at least one friends of or how much uh friends is definitely more cultural mm. definitely more cultural so th- that to, to fit in with the peoples yeah 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 yeah. okay i think i like how i met your mother like i probably watched it more intensely yeah but, i don't know i don't know what show i'm currently watching when i'm just doing random stuff like around the house yeah I think I'm, I'm watching New Girl the most right That's now. That's my. I know. I do nothing. I, I do it because every time, like whenever I'm like, "What show should I watch?" I'll come over to your house and it's already on, and I'm like, "This is a great show." It's great in this. the background. I don't have to focus on anything, and just hear Nick Miller quotes every once in a while just makes me <laughs> giggle. Man, that guy, that is the best character. I will say, you quote New Girl more than any other show. Oh yeah, I know. For sure, it's so easily. It quotable. is really easily because quotable. so many things are said. Just like as little slights. Yeah. There's little quips in there. Yeah. So you don't have to really even know the whole of what's happening because it's still right. relevant to like, it's not even a character thing. Right. Like, it's just what they say is funny. And it's they- It's great. Like, and and then you learn other things. Like, one of the guys, Schmidt, says he's the dumbest boy in school. Well, that, that was like hilarious to the cast. And yeah. like, it caught on when the show was airing. Yeah. And so that keeps getting said. Over and over and over. Like, you're the dumbest boy. You're the dumbest boy in school. <laughs> and so, like, I'll say that. And you don't have to know the show to think it's funny. So, yeah. I'm like, you're the dumbest boy in school, Alex. Like, we'll laugh because right, right. you don't have to know the show. You're like, why did he say that? Just so, right, right, right. That's why I like it. because Reusable the, lines. Yeah, the quotes cool, are, yeah. like, applicable to just life. Yeah. That's great. Uh, it's a good show. It is. And I watched a TikTok with... um um. The guy that I don't remember his name. The guy that plays Nick Miller. Oh, and he ooh, was ooh. Uh, Jack Johnson, something. That's I the that singer, was a right? Singer. Shoot, it's something like that. I don't know. I'm moving on. I'll believe you. Sure, Jack Johnson. Let's go with that. Um, Paul's looking at him. Yeah, be, I'm gonna be close. Yeah, that guy. Um, he was talking about the episode of the Prince. Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson. I'm sorry. Keep going. Jake Prince Gyllenhaal. The Prince episode. Yes. Yeah, the episode of the Prince. And he was talking about how crazy it was on set. With yeah. Prince. And he said that at one point, Prince comes walking down the stairs, and there's all these people in front of him in purple, and all these people behind him in purple. Yeah. And like you couldn't talk to Prince unless. And then all of a sudden, like he said, um, Zoe Deschanel gets to go meet him. And then one like the, he just said he said that the uh, that all of a sudden Prince says, "I'm ready to meet Nick now." And he just like no, that's awesome. And he just like goes and meets him, and he's like, it was so crazy and uncomfortable, but also awesome at the same time. Like, so the interview, the interview was hilarious because he was like, it's just Prince was so weird, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like, it was so cool at the same time. So it was just funny hearing him. Like, here's this super quirky, weird guy, yeah, in a show, meeting a super quirky, weird guy in real life, yeah, and just the mix was was funny, but. That's awesome. Let's get to our rankings. Wait, first. Oh, go ahead. Paul, did you look it up? No. He didn't. Oh, He's man. sleeping over there. I think it's Jake Johnson. All right. What is your... Okay, so we have this. We have the same list yeah. that we came up with. Of like 15 or so. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And this is not scientific list. We no. just sat around a table with some people and we're like, okay, let's throw out some shows and let's right. kind of debate whether we think these would be in a, a, a top. Right. So list. if you hit our list... Doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're better than you at listing things. So, yep. or we're worse. Doesn't it's subjective? No, we're better. Yeah, sure, we're better. Jake Johnson. Or we're worse. Jake Johnson. I was totally right the second. I was right the second time. Yeah, there, there you go. I also almost just fell back in my chair. You did. I saw it. It yeah. was hilarious. You probably totally went off screen though. I let me tell so, you, that was that was the least I've ever freaked out when my chair almost falls over. That's good. I was confident coming back the whole way. It was like I did it on purpose. Yeah. It would have been funny if you fell. I'm just going to say. I, For there's sure. a part of me that hoped you fell. Absolutely. I, I would Sometimes laughed. I hope like my chair just breaks because then that would be great content for TikTok, you know? <laughs> that like, would what, be great What if content. both of our chairs just snapped at the same time right now? Man, that's supernatural for something. <laughs> Paul would have rigged it, no doubt. Or I would have. It yeah. could have been me. Israel did it. Israel. Big is. Classic big is. All right. What you got in number 10? 
Well, well why did I say it like that? What you got? I don't know. You just, Whatever. I'm confident. Go yeah. yeah. Um, confident. Number Big ten. Is. You're gonna get me upset. What is it? I put himium there. <laughs> you did? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Himium. Yeah. Himium. Yeah. I that's my. That's that's my last one because I was like, I have watched probably the least of that one of my top ten. Yeah. And. But you put it in there. I'd be interested in watching. Like, top ten is still pretty good. Like yeah. I'd still be interested in watching it, but I'm not. I like it'd be behind a lot of other yeah. stuff. Is it, you don't know. You don't watch. You didn't watch it, so you don't know this. You watched it, right, Paul? Yeah. Alex is a Marshall. Oh yeah. Right. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, you're so like Marshall. Yeah. I don't and know. if you watch the show, you'll be like, ah, I get it. Like all I New remember in New Girl, you're a Winston. Yes. Oh, I love right. Winston. You're a bird shirt man. Oh yeah, totally. I'm fine with that. But, Winston's my favorite character in that for sure. Yeah, Winston's hilarious. I don't know. I go back and forth. I like Winston. I like and Nick. Nick is so good. Schmidt. They're all really good characters. Yeah, yeah. They are. Um. Okay, that's fair enough. You Win- put it. You at least you put it in the top ten because yeah. like you yeah. you got to give it the respect that's due. It was a great show. Marshall. The only thing I know about Marshall is that he has those zip off pants at the knees and he yeah. has great calves. And I'm like, that's yeah. fine by me. Yeah. I'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember that episode. <laughs> He's also a lawyer. Oh, so you know if you want. But aren't all the people he works with like jerks or something? In what? Yeah. Well, part of his law law firm. Yeah. See, I know stuff. But then he I goes to stuff. save the environment. Oh, good, good yeah. for him. Yeah, that's cool. My number ten, Full House. Really? That I'm gonna be real with you. That wasn't even on my list. Yeah, uh, I watched Full House growing up. I think that's why. Yeah. Um, it's a good show. Yeah. I think there was a lot of like life lessons learned from Full House for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, Uncle Jesse just like felt like he was my uncle. He's a sweater guy, right? He, no. Doesn't he doesn't have a sweater? No, he's a leather jacket man. What? Oh, yeah. Shoot. Right. right. Am I right on this? John Stamos. Gray hair. Gray hair. Yeah. You know, really inspiring hair. Um, But yeah, I think it was like, it was a nice family show, which... You know, a lot of these on this list aren't nice family shows. No, they're not. There's but that, a lot that's of humor, good, though. But there was like good family humor, but also like things actually still happen. You know, right, there's some right. of those shows that you're like, this is really happening here. Well, I feel like I'm watching nothing happen. That's like um one of the ones that's on my list, and I'll t- we'll get to it when when we get there. Is Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, that's exactly how that show is. Yeah. It's just like class. It's just it's just simple family dramas. It's like oh no. Yeah, it's the same episode. The wife and the husband are fighting again. So or, uh-oh, awful. the in-laws and the wife have a weird yeah. beef between them Yeah, every episode. It's always something. I still like it, though. Yeah. I I, got, I, I can I understand. You can but, judge. man, it's annoying. Yeah. When no, you yeah, really think sure. back of, like, why did we watch this? It's the same episode every week. Just I don't know. slightly different. For me at this point, it's just nostalgia because it's not yeah. something that I'm like I watch. We'll we'll get to we'll get to where everybody loves Raymond later. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Full House at number ten, mostly because I just it just it just has a special place in the heart. Sure, yeah. I have not watched the reboot. I was gonna ask the F- Fuller, Fuller House, House. Yeah, have not watched it. Don't have any desire. Okay. I think reboots are stupid. Yeah, but you know the only did? thing that we should keep going. New Girl. Nope. Fast and Furious. Oh my yes. gosh. When Fast and Furious 14 comes out, I'll still watch it. We'll be in in another universe's galaxies. What are we in on the now? multiverse? We're in 10, right? How, Not, you think, nine. Nine. You think in 10 years we're going to be in another? Because they're definitely going to have another five out in 10 years. I think they signed another like three year three sure movie contract or yeah. something. I don't know, man. I don't care. I At this point, I'm invested. Right, sure, That's and like fine. it keeps getting stupider, but man, it's so funny. It's so funny that it keeps getting stupider, and like, come oh. on, what was better than The Rock and Vin Diesel punching each other? And they're like, they're punching each other, and they're like, you know what? We should become family. And then they got in a huge fight off offset or off screen. Not family, no moss. Huh. Classic, classic. The Rock and Vin Diesel, honestly. Yeah. You know what would also be funny? What if? They create a Vin Diesel animation, like Moana's, you know, animation oh, of the rock, and yeah. then those guys fought. That would be yeah, is he he'd be another like demigod or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That would be great. That would be amazing. Moana too. A bald <laughs> demigod of Vin Diesel. I we <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, all right, what's number nine? Number nine for me was Fresh Prince. Okay, okay. Respect How about you? it. Respect it. Um 
I had Everybody Loves Raymond at number nine. I, that's on your list? Mm-hmm. I was really not expecting that. Yeah. we. My family watched it a lot. Really? Yep. I... There's something about it. The dad. Yeah, Raymond. The, Ray, Ray Romano. No, no. Oh, the dad. Frank? Yeah. Yeah. He is so funny because he's so mean. Oh, yeah. That's what carried the show for me. Oh, yeah. Because even he was like, this is stupid. Yeah. Right? Like, everything is stupid. And it's so funny. The rest of it, like, Ray is annoying. Oh, yeah. Right? I don't even remember the kids. They're like, they're just there. No, they're not, they're not a part they're, of it. Every once in a while, they're like, you know what? We got to make a, like, this is a family. We got to bring the kids into it somehow. Like, the kids are and having And they, they go to, like, a play, and then it's just the grandparents and parents being terrible at the yep. play. Yep. Yeah. And he's got the tall, stupid guy, which is offensive to, to tall people, yeah. in my opinion. Because why does he got to be stupid? I don't know. It's probably because he's that, so tall. Yeah. <laughs> brain that guy, that, brain takes long to get to the, that guy. can't even remember because of how tall he is. real tall. Very hunched oh gosh, over yeah. every episode. Always under the doorway. I don't even remember what his name was. Robert. Robert. Yeah. Um yeah. but as a as a show that a lot of people love, they gotta give it the credit it's, that it deserves. I don't yeah. know, I don't know why it was so popular, but you rewatch it now. I don't think it holds up. That's what I say. Mm. At the time, watched it. Now, I don't think it holds up. Yeah, maybe not. I if I watched through it now, I wouldn't be like, mm. you know what? Yeah. I wouldn't it wouldn't be new girl to me. It wouldn't no, hold any definitely attention. not. Yeah, right. Well, I think, like I was saying before, and I was kind of going to hold it off till we talked about it for, which I thought was going to be for me, but we can talk about it now that it, that's one of yours. On your we can list. wait. I'm good. I'm no, good. we're talking about it now because I've oh, already okay. talked about it twice, and I don't want to. We don't have to bring it up after this. Um, Thank God. I know, right? Because it's like I feel like there is nothing that's ever consequential that happens in it. No, right? Nothing ever changes the storyline, except for like Robert gets. A girlfriend and that it's like in and out of the like that's literally the only consequential thing that happens mm-hmm. there's no dog no nope. there's no like neighbors otherwise it's just like maybe the kids are getting older yeah so they're going to school but never does anything literally robert's never girlfriend goes slash wife is the only thing that ever changes in that entire show never goes anywhere so the problem is like well what's nice about it is like if you were to put it on the background doesn't matter if you're season one, season 10, everything is the same except for the age of the kids. Yeah. But the thing with that is like the background test for me is like, I want to be able to like hear something every once in a while and giggle. Yeah. There's not a lot of that for me now. Yeah. I guess it's fair. It just, it, it was, it was good for what it was, but I don't think it held up to the test of time. Sure. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I think full house actually did. Cause they're still like, it's just more nostalgic even. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Even the way they dress. I'm like, Oh, respect that's fair that is iconic and that i know yeah number eight what's what's your number eight fresh prince ah is yeah yeah, yeah man fresh prince was good yeah man you what you seen the last episode no i i just remember coming home from school and then watching random episodes that came on you know what i'm talking about I the okay y'all we gotta watch the last episode after we're done really i think it's the last episode so, so after we're done tonight no way can i spoil it <laughs> yeah sure so like will smith yeah his character the Fresh Prince, it, his dad like doesn't show up basically, right? I don't spoil the whole thing, but he doesn't show up. Well, that was like supposedly the the story behind that scene is he like goes off, like on set he goes off, and oh, like screaming and yelling really? at his dad character. Yeah, but the story is that like he was actually emotional because of the history he had with with his own father. Wow, and so um, the uncle, I don't remember his name, but he like hugs him. And supposedly that scene is like an actual genuine emotional reaction of both of them. Wow. And like when you, if like that aspect of that, like it like hits heavy because it's yeah. such a lighthearted dumb show. But like, it's like, oh, wow, these guys are like, there's like a lot going into this. Yeah. And there is like actually family drama involved. I would say like way more than Everyone Loves Rainbow, oh, which probably. is kind of funny because yeah, yeah. it's like a show that was like, not meant for that, but there's like this family drama and all this stuff involved, and there is things that happen, and people move away, and right. Carlton's involved, and you know the Carlton dance is iconic or it whatever. Is, yeah. But man, I thought it was a good show. I really liked it. You know the the i the yeah. aspect of like bringing in the fashion and like trying to be a cool guy, but like you look at it now and you're like that is awful what they're wearing. But like then it was cool. It's just a fun dynamic of a right? show and for and an also, older show. What other show do you know? That theme song is played at like every wedding. That, fair enough, right? Fair enough. I've heard The Office played before, I mean, but that's novelty. If we're we're talking about important songs played at weddings. 
Fresh we, Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, no, we got one that was played at yours. That was a very iconic show. I have no idea what we're talking about. No we'll get idea. To it. You should be ashamed. It's your wedding, man. When did we, it when did we play it? involved four people of oh, yeah. huge significance in your life. No, but that's not a theme song. That's why I was not thinking I about it. I did say it was a theme song. I know, but I, in song. my head I was thinking theme songs. But yes, you're talking about the you're talking about the new girl scene, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your parents and in laws yes, danced to right. the yeah. way that they did a new girl. Exactly, which which was a shocker to a lot of people for way too long. Yeah, for it was way it was, too long. It was so awkward, awkwardly long. <laughs> which just man made it even funnier from where I was sitting. I was dying. <laughs> I honestly props to them because that takes a lot. That takes a lot of not only like courage but just like like determination to make it through that entire song still doing the ridiculous chicken dancey kind of whatever's yeah. going on yeah i don't, I don't know what was cool. your number eight did you say it? number eight for me was uh, uh everybody loves raymond oh look at us we're, we're there switching we there you go yeah. flip flopping eh? number seven what'd you got number seven for me was friends what it was low man I, but i know it's low for for the top 10 bro it's just you're gonna get some hate that's fine man i don't whatever i'll get hate from you gotta watch a bunch it. of people who just like it because of pop culture, and some people who really no just man, like no, it. no pop culture. But it was a really good show. No, I believe you. I believe you. It was but really good. A lot of people who give me hate might just be pop culture people, so that's fine. No, I think the people that actually give you hate are the real fans. I don't know, watch I don't it know. though. Give me hate. That's you, fine. You gotta watch it. We gotta watch it. We gotta buy it first because I don't know where you can watch it anymore. Oh yeah, because Netflix, Netflix doesn't have it anymore. But man, oh, we'll talk about it more. I'd have I got, to get to I got the end, higher. You know? I got a higher up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I had number seven, Big Bang Theory. That wasn't on my list, but I do really appreciate it. it Man, is, it is Sheldon's funny. character is hilarious. Yeah. The, like, smart know-it-all that everyone hates, he just he plays it so well. Yeah. Oh, he, I just he, love he is it. good. And they were another one. They hit the they hit the Friends marker. By the end, million dollars an episode. They do have, the like, a stars. cult-like following, yeah. It was, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I did not watch it, like, like that i was like a rerun person I wasn't watching as it came out yeah i don't even yeah, know yeah, how many seasons it has it had or anything like that but everything i watched it was funny i've watched, they had a good diverse cast they do yeah they do yeah, yeah for sure i've watched probably like six or seven episodes of it and it's always been while i was at the dentist's office this is very strange i don't know they're always playing it but hey i mean why not right Every time I'm there, laying in the chair, look up there. It's always got the closed captioning on, but I can imagine the voices because they're pretty iconic. <laughs> well, at least Sheldon's. The other yeah, ones aren't as iconic. Sheldon's is definitely iconic. All right, well, I, I had it at number seven because, you know, every every time I watch it, I laugh. Yeah. But yeah. not enough to go, I got to watch all these. That one's standard sitcom, right, where you hear the people laughing? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Very standard. Very, very standard. It's, it's very good. like, what's the mold of a sitcom? Let's put this many people in a room. Yeah. Let's have a couple love interests. Yep. Move on. That's fair. And one guy that you just got to make sure is the dumb one that everyone loves and laughs at. Which and then the one, dumb one? I don't know. This is classic sitcom, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would say it's... Uh, well, no. she She's the dumb one. But the one that everyone loves, uh, uh, the small guy, the small, like, skinny white guy. Kind of, kind of like a bowl cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's the one that you're just like, ah, I kind of want to kick him in the face. For some reason, in my but head, man, he's he, wearing like he's Steve's so dumb, shirt you're, from Blue's you're, Clues. He's annoying. No. Did you see the Blue's Clues guy? Came I back? did. Yeah. yeah. Let's not talk about that though. I think you cry. <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, did you do number seven? <laughs> no, I did. Uh, yeah, I said friends. Oh, we'll talk God. about it more later when we get to you. <sighs> Six. Six. Six for me. Uh, how do I count again? Oh yeah, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Ah, uh, see that didn't make my list. I've yeah, heard it's great. It is. It's really great. This last season has been terrible, but every show goes out on a terrible season except for apparently Friends. Friends. Yeah, which is good for them. But um, great. Every I love Andy Samberg. I think his humor is hilarious. I've loved. I've loved like all of his, all the stuff he's done for the longest time. So just seeing him, he also. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. What has he done? He's done like SNL. I know Hot he did Rod. that. Oh, hot rod! Hot rod's That's really good. Um, Stupid humor, man. I do. It's it's all super dumb humor. It's like the dumbest of dumb. Yeah, it really is, and it's not even like 
Like, he has done some, like, inappropriate stuff, but sometimes it's not even, like, dumb, inappropriate humor. It is just brain-dead humor. Like, there yeah. is nothing. No, yeah. You need no... You don't even need to know how to speak English to understand some of his humor. It's like it's it's great. He's in. He's also in Parks and Rec. He's the um, yep. Uh, what is he? He's, he's like the loud guy. He's the loud the guy. guy that but, yells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want like the Park Rangers or something mm-hmm. like that. And uh everything he does, he's hilarious. And it's like, and also he looks like he's been twenty five for the last twenty years. Good. Maybe for he has been. I should ask. You should. Yeah. You should text him. And his only friend on Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Which we talked about in our last episode. I heard. Yeah. I did hear. You had to. Um Yeah, I haven't I haven't watched it, but it's one that I've been told I would enjoy. You definitely would, yeah. Yeah. I heard, is there a lot of characters involved? Yeah, I think there's probably a good um Is it like, like eight sitcom esque or no? Not no. sitcom esque, no. It's more um it's it's more like the Officer Parks and Rec, but it's not a it's not a mockumentary, so it's not yeah. like people look at the camera and say stuff. So I don't know what I'd compare it to, in in that realm of things. All right, I'll, I'll think about it. You should watch. I, it. Is it? It's on Netflix, right? I feel like I've seen it. I think it's Netflix. on Hulu. Hulu. I could be wrong. It could be on. It could be on Netflix. All right. Well, I'll have to look. I'll think about it. Yeah. Even like the first episode, though. That's one that I'm like. The first season is good. The last season, though, not so good. Not so good. Yeah. It happens all the time, man. My number six was The Office. Oh, yeah. Put it high up there. It's got the respect of a lot of people. Yeah. I found parts of it funny. Fair enough. Not captivating to go into the top five, though. All right. That's all I got to say on the matter. That's okay. We're getting to it later because it's in my top five. Number five. Number five for me was Malcolm in the Middle. Ah. <sighs> Why? What do you mean? Ah, that was a classic show. I came home from school. I was always on at like, it was at, actually it was on at 9 p.m., which was at the time a little bit past my bedtime. Like my yeah. bedtime was 9 p.m. Uh-huh. And so I was like, oh, can I just stay up and watch one episode of Malcolm in the Middle and Malcolm in the Middle with my siblings? Yeah. And most of the time it was no, but sometimes. Yes. Yeah, I just mm, never got into it, man. No? no. Oh, it's so good. I mean, there's. There's a couple episodes that I thought were funny, but it was never like, oh, I want to watch the show. I just like, I think it fits in that kind of like classic mold, like you're saying. Like they have the like the kind of dumb guy, which is Reese. You know, they have the smart one, which is also obviously Malcolm, and then they have the parents and all that. But yeah, just didn't get me. No, no, that's a bummer. That's it is a bummer. a bummer. You know what's weird though is Frankie Munez doesn't remember any of it. Munez. Yeah, yeah. He lives here in the valley. He you does. Yeah, he sells yeah. oil and vinegar. Did not know that. He has an Saw oil. Saw him at a GCU game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lopes up. Yeah, he has an oil shop out in, in Scottsdale. All right. So, if Frankie, if you're, if you're listening to this, feel free to send us some oil or sponsor us or, whatever, or sponsor us by sending us some oil, uh, whatever okay. kind. I would I would prefer other things than oil, but that's that's cool, too. Ricky would like a bottle of vinegar instead. Yep. I like vinegar and oil on sandwiches, but yep. moving on. My number five is going to shock you. Yeah. Gilmore Girls. That does that really does shock me. It I've also is. never seen Gilmore Girls. What do you watch anything? I what, yeah. Did exclusively you watch any of the movies the on this or the shows on this thing? All of the ones in my top ten I have seen. All the ones that are not in my top ten, however, I've not seen. No, no. I've no, I've seen Big Bang Theory. So you didn't see Friends. And I've seen Seinfeld. Okay. Gilmore Girls. Paul, back me up, buddy. Gilmore Girls is iconic. It is so good. It is such a right. good show. Really good. I was so invested. I watched this show like like routinely, religiously with my mom. No way. When it was coming out. Yep. It was on Tuesday nights for a long time. Every Tuesday night, we would watch it. And she would some I think we would record it too because I like have basketball and stuff, but we would make sure to catch up. Yeah. Every time. I watched through the whole thing. And then they put it on Netflix. I watched the whole thing again. Really? Without my wife. Don't tell her. Not because uh, she's not she want to watch it, just because uh, it's embarrassing. But it's embarrassing. man, great show, Luke. Best character. Best character. I'm yeah, not I gonna no, tell you anything. I, else. I have no idea who you're talking about, but yeah. all right, all right, all right. I believe you. That it is it's great. At least a, it is a, a great show. show. It's a little town I want to be in part a part of. Suki, she's awesome. What's the name of the town? Star Hollow. Star Hollow. Yeah. Stars Hollow. That's so. Dramatic. I don't remember if it's plural. plural. All right. There's a little N involved. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. What's number five? 
Number five. I already said it. It was Malcolm oh. in the Middle. Oh, yeah. What's, right. your, what's your number four? New Girl. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. New Girl is lower on your list than it is for me. Mm-hmm. New Girl. Ah, great. Yeah. Great, great show. show. Most quotable show for me. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. But it's a background show for me at this point. It's, Fair enough. It's run its course. It's not something that I'm like, I really want to sit through and watch all of New Girl again. Right. Right. Um, I have watched it a good amount, but it's just not it's not to that point. Sure. Right. Sure. Um Yeah, I love it. I'll always love it. I love all of the male characters. No disrespect to female characters, but Jess just causes all the problems. Yep. She's the the um Leslie. She is the Leslie. Yeah. Causes all the issues because she doesn't listen. Yeah. Uh, Cece is just the hot one you have to throw in there. Yeah. That's like fair. every show. Yeah. Schmidt, my wife says I'm like him. You are kind of like Respect. him. Respect. Um, Nick, hilarious. Nick's, Nick, y- Nick just is so the most, yeah, he is literally a character designed to be loved by everyone. Yeah. Winston, just, man, you just got to uh, love Winston because he's just funny. Yeah. And then he does dumb stuff. He's yeah. a dumb character. Yeah. He, he does all sorts of dumb stuff. But he's and, a charming dumb. Yeah, and he's got some good one-liners. And then whenever they throw Coach in there, yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, love- man, the dynamic just – the way it changes is just Yeah, great. it really is. That's great. So it's at number four. I have I have things I like more, but here we are. Fair enough. That's my number three. So I'll just – you know, I'll say that. Well, way to ruin I know, it. I know I ruined it. Number four for me was Psych. Yeah. Psych I watched a ton growing up. Literally have all of the DVDs in, in like, the box sets. I thought it was hilarious. I'll go back and watch that every like I don't know where to watch it now as far as streaming goes. I think I can just watch it on, on Prime or something like that. But Maybe. I'll go back and watch just random episodes of it because it, it's probably one of the most like one of the most um oh shoot like nostalgic shows for me. Okay. Because That's my entire like family watched it. Yeah. And I love all the characters. Every single one of them to me is funny and ha- adds like a different element. So That's why you still like it. That's why I still yeah, like yeah. it. Like I, I think it holds up very well. Yeah. Because the nostalgia, for sure. Nostalgia, that, that for also sure. also always yeah. helps that. For sure. And I think I just I think all the characters work well together. So, Which is good. I've watched some of them. They were funny. Yeah, yeah. They were definitely some funny episodes. Number three. We've got to hurry. We're running out of time. Number three, Parks and Rec. Ah, oh, great. We, we've talked about Parks and Rec, but I just hilarious I just love show. it, man. I just love it. Andy, just this the whole, the whole mix. When they bring Ben in, he's just like such a straight shooter, like super anxious kind of guy. Yeah. But just the do it so well, he's so funny. Just you just laugh at him. Yeah, you know, uh, you don't laugh with he, him. He's hilarious. You laugh at him. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was your number three? What'd you say? I said uh, new girl. New girl. That's right. Number two, Parks and Rec for me. How about your mother? Ah, uh, put it at number two. I I love it wow. so much, but the ending. I feel like I've never heard you talk about How I Met Your Mother until we tar- started talking about this. Sh- yeah, it's episode. just because I haven't watched it for yeah. in so long because there's just nowhere to watch it and I don't want to go buy all the boxes. But I watched it like nonstop crazy um, when it was on Netflix and all that kind of stuff. It's actually on uh, Amazon Prime, I think, at least a couple seasons. I started watching it a couple, like a month or so yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then got busy with work or whatever. But sure. I just love it. Marshall, hilarious. Ted's dynamic where he's just dumb. You got Barney, yeah. this guy that's like the magician trying to make magic cool. <laughs> you know conversation yeah. last week on episodes it's just and like he loves laser tag and he's like super nerdy guy but he's also like trying, trying to be, be really a player. cool yeah be a player and it, just the whole dynamic of that coming together it was yeah. just like it was it was such an odd friend group that yeah. it made me like it more because we have you know odd friends that's that was fair. before that but yeah but, but yeah it's, I, it's I enjoy it sentimental now yeah so you're number one what, what is, is your, what's your number two what'd you say Parks and Rec Parks and Rec that's right What's your number one? Mine's The Office. You're just friends? <laughs> yeah, it's friends. Yeah, I assumed. It's, man, it's hard to talk about it with you. You just don't understand. I feel like the same way about you with The Office, though. Ten seasons wrapped up in a perfect snuggie of comfort, warmth, love. Hands man, man. sticking out there, feet sticking out there. I got to tell you how, how it ends. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 no, no. whoa, 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 At this point, I'm telling you. No, wait. They put keys to the apartment that's been the apartment forever. All of their keys that they all have one of on the counter to this apartment. And it like zooms in, it shows you all the keys, and it just zooms out. 
And that's how it ends. And you're just like, your heart just melts inside. You're like, oh. I feel like I should have seen that myself, but it's too late now. No, man. That You don't understand why that's important, though. Everyone that's watching it knows what I'm talking about, right? But that, super important. Do you say 30 seconds or do you say three minutes? Because we're not wrapping up in 30 seconds. There's no way. So let's take a cut right here. Snap back to reality. No, we're not. There goes gravity. No, we're not doing that. We're not wrapping. Mom's spaghetti. (laughs) Are you ready to talk about friends already? Oh, my gosh. Never mind. Cut this. Just at the end, just no outro this week. No outro. No wisdom? No no wisdom. We're not allowed anymore after what you just said. (laughs) Just just get get rid of all of it. Um, No. That it won't ruin it for you, I promise. Because there's All right, okay. so much background story to what happens at the end that is not important. But man, just like the the iconicness of like that's how it wraps up. Yeah, and it is like this perfect kind of like, oh my gosh, it's ending, but it's ending with them all in a good place together. Yeah, which is like so unlike most of the shows. Right, they kill right. someone or someone abandons Leaves their it, yeah. you know and it's just like ah oh, it just it, there's so much closure involved in the end that's of that's really friends. nice that's a very nice thing yeah and i just episode after ep- and it holds up yeah some modern uh ideologies and cultural things with overly sensitive ideas will will be upset at some of the episodes sure. as naturally happens same with the office you know same with the office which is currently being canceled for a particular episode yep. from what i've heard um. Anyways, holds up, man. It it's does. so funny. I assume, <laughs> and like just, just the way in which they brought the the characters together, and like the, you know, you got six people, and certain ones are better friends with others, and they're not afraid to show that. But then you watch as that friendship molds into like the three guys, like two of them, Joey and Chandler, are more friends, and Ross is kind of like there but he's like monica's brother and so then like becomes eventually becomes brother-in-law to chandler but they all like mesh into this perfect group of three best friends of guys but like they didn't they don't fit together and like what you would understand yeah yeah yeah. and it's just the molding of it it i think that's why it captured so many people was Mm -hmm. because you're like ah i want a friend group like that right and just even the way in which they named everything like the one with yeah 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 Top notch, man. Yeah, maybe I'll have to. Maybe I have to make my new show that I just go you through. You should watch it because it just. What are they? Thirty minute episodes, something like that. Yeah, so like twenty some. Like twenty two minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. But what is great is because it was on for ten years. The change in one the cinematography, yeah. like the way they film is the same, but the camera, the definition just. Changes. way better oh it's yeah. hilarious when you watch one and then you watch 10 you're like what <laughs> but also the style the style from episode one to the end of 10 is hilarious like and their the hair, own personal style okay yeah, the yeah, hair yeah. no just like the, every season they look different. yeah they huh. just continue to grow and then you're like you're watching the first you're like oh man that is real rough what yeah. they're wearing and what they're how their hair is and they kind of like move into a little more modern look right right oh, it's so funny huh. but it holds up well because the way they did like even the sets and stuff they made it work it, it progressed together yeah. With the people. yeah 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 that's cool that's cool i appreciate that uh not i mean obviously you watch it i still put it at seven because i haven't seen it but yeah that's fair that's fair you yeah. haven't seen it but you should you should definitely see it. I I will pledge to give the office a try again. If someone is willing to hold my hand alongside. Right, right, right. But if I get any flack from you or the unnamed person that listens to this, I'm out. And I, I'm, I'll, I'll recant it being number six on my list. I'll replace it with something else. Where are you gonna put it? You gonna put it uh, five, seven? No, I'll take it out of the top ten. Dang, that's Colby. Yep, that's that's where I'm at. I think it's fair. All right. Well, I want to be included. We'll see. We'll see, man. I don't know. I will. We'll try and try and see if you can hang. 
Yeah. What's your wisdom, man? I get a wisdom. Oh, shoot. I'm expecting not to have this. Um, um, if you're doing uh, chores and stuff, you just should watch the TV show. Oh? Why you do it? That's it? That's the whole wisdom? Yeah. Words of wisdom, yeah. Watch TV show while yeah. you do chores. Can I ask you one question? I know we've gone crazy long, but I'm no. just interested. Well, I'm going to. Oh, okay. Why do you ask? Volume. You, like in hair? No. Okay. On the TV. Yeah. What numbers are appropriate to put it at? Whatever number. You're a psychopath. I know. You don't have a, like a specific group? No, you mean like evens or, or fives or tens or something? No. Uh-huh. I don't. I used to. I don't anymore. What did you used to be? It used to be fives. But that was more for the radio in the car. Yeah. I didn't do a whole lot on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause so for, now you're chaotic evil. Think, think about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't th- I don't know if I'd call that evil, but I'd call oh, it no, chaotic it neutral. But No, no. I understand. I know I know evil. what you call I get it. That's fine. Because there's got to be something psychotic going on. Maybe. maybe. You don't even is. have a position. Here's here's my understanding. That's scary. All right? Yep. Here's, here's what, how, how it got built up. I have a laptop. Laptop doesn't have numbers. It just has little dots. Boop, 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 Mine boop, doesn't boop. have numbers either. Right. Same with phone. Right. Boop, mm-hmm. boop, 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 boop. Pretty much Does all your the phone time. Make that no- that noise when you hit it. I don't know. Okay. I always have it on silent or vibrate, but <laughs> turn yeah. the volume up on silent. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was it's with. it's more silent now. Yeah, it's more silent. Um, it's blocking out more noise that would have <laughs> been there otherwise. No, so I mean, with the with a laptop and with a phone, which is what I would have previously watched those on throughout my college years and stuff like that, I didn't have like a number. So mm-hmm. now, now I have like a TV and I use the Chromecast, which I just change the volume on my phone. So I just leave it at whatever it is and just press it up or down. Does but Tony then, have a number? No, she doesn't. I know. I I assume not. She doesn't on a rate on the radio. I used to on the radio, but now I don't on the radio, and neither does Tony. Man, it's crazy, man. I I don't I'm free. There's some craziness going on. In your no household. strings on me, man. Paul, what number are you? Uh, it's evens to ten, and then ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, uh, evens to ten, ten, fifteen, twenty. The only time I will move outside of that is if you have a TV that, like, from twelve to thirteen, is a ridiculous gap in the sound. Right, like they have ten level, or like they have fifteen levels, or whatever. Yeah, and you're well, yeah, and you're like. 12 is I can't hear it and thir- or, you yeah. know, and 13 is okay and 14 is like someone screaming like a banshee in my ears. Yeah. I'll go to 13. That's the only time it's acceptable. Actually, you know what's great is uh, about the about the Chromecast is I could just leave my TV at 50 mm-hmm. and then just move my phone up and down so it would always be at 50, but I just don't care. Mm. I literally today I just pressed down the plus volume button and went until it sounded good, didn't even look at the numbers. How does that make you feel? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But as long as you keep that at 50 and then you just up and down with your phone, I'd be okay with it. But I, yeah, don't I think do you got to pick a number. I don't. You I'm not pick gonna, a number. I'm What's your number? What, you said you don't ever change it on TV. What's the number? No, I did change it today. <gasps> He's a liar. No, I didn't say I didn't say I never change it. I said I could never change it. And I rarely, I said earlier, I like, I don't know, maybe I did say I never change it in general. Did I say that? I don't know. Play the tape back. <laughs> Somebody at some point, you guys edited it. Rewind. I'm not gonna do it, and you probably won't do it either. But if you heard I me say never, to it. I might have lied. Here's how it works. Oh, we're going into it. I go, huh? yeah, I go up to the top volume on my phone, and if that's too loud, you just what is it fall already? If the if the top volume on my phone is too loud, change it on the TV. That's it. Man, that's an in depth thing you got going on there. I know. You know I what? Know. You do you, man. I am. I always. Always doing me. You do you. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening. Tell us what your favorite movie is. Or movie. Uh, do that, sure. too. But yeah. also, what is the best TV show of all time? And defend your position with a four-page thesis. If not, we don't believe you. So, yeah. And consider this our four-page thesis. Amen. It was an hour long, so it was way more than four pages. Sure. I don't know. Thanks for listening. We are so thankful for all the support you give us. As always, remember, stay up.